Tomorrow, I'm not sure if I can come here, so I see you tonight. I think that it's better I speak English all the time. You know why? It's easier to translate into many languages, yeah? If I speak Chinese, then we have to consider whether or not we have enough uh, Chinese speaking, but good in English, or good in Spanish, or good in German, uh, uh, good in Russian, good in uh, Vietnamese, all Aussies, good in uh, Thai, good in blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Got that? Okay. Nếu mình nhớ thính yêu miền, ok, hú phá. Chú miền cho sư thính chữ hồi. 要面听右面,听右面,OK?不常听就放左面,啊。这边大概没有什么命令,所以赶快换了。听右面比较好,OK?打电话什么的要听右面,懂了?万一忘记了。I okay? uh, thought there's something important, but fix the balcony. <laughs> Uh, fix the screen door, uh, dogs ate it. <laughs> to be exactly like before, my dog they eat everything, as long as I'm not there. Yeah, I just want to show that I'm very welcome. <laughs> when I come back, there's no door. <laughs> Open, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> they are big already. Two years something, still eating stuff, eating my book, my umbrella, my telephone, my table, my chair, my documents, your documents, I mean. <laughs> Sometimes I look at your documents, I don't know what the guy look like, <laughs> the, the photo eaten. <laughs> Lucky, good love, always protect my document. If you see the, the small guy, dog come eat document, he come and lay on it. Yeah, nobody can touch it, and they respect him. So they will not come and dig under his stomach and get the photos out and eat them. <laughs> I have given them tons of toys, okay? Even paper, carton, for them to chew. No, no fun. Eat books. <laughs> <laughs> to be smarter or something, more intelligent, huh? <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> Books have something written. <laughs> Katon, boring, only brown color, nada, nothing there. And the table look nicer, you know, <laughs> than the piece of uh, wooden bone that I gave to them. The table look, you know, more interesting. So they like to take care of those things. If you have dogs, it's easier to be a renunciate. Your clothes will be less than before. Yeah? Uh, your table don't eat. Yeah. <laughs> a book no need, you already enlightened. What for reading anything? <laughs> Only Supreme Master Ching Hai need to read book. Yeah, all of you don't need. All the books go to my home. And you just come nothing. Go home also have nothing. Very <laughs> Very simple life, no? Yeah, all the complication comes to master. That's the best, yeah? We live simple life, correct? Yes. Okay, today I will read you <laughs> the story that last time I promised you. Before I go on and on and on with my calendar and my dogs and my cats and whatever. Ah, this one maybe look more like color. This one looks so, so thick, like I can't see anything anymore. <laughs> okay, right. Now, this story title, The Embodiment of Love. Uh, so the Master, uh, the Lord Mahavira, at that time an ascetic, 
I left the bone and <laughs> skeleton village called Asthikram and proceeded in the direction of Ashvetambikatal. Okay, forgive my uh, Sanskrit or Hindi. But you understand, right? Yes. The reason I let you come here is so that you can help me with Sanskrit and Hindi, okay? <laughs> No, he went on this uh, trail to the other town. The trail to this town passed through a dense and desolate forest. When some shepherds, you know shepherds, they take care of the sheep, <laughs> yeah? They take care of big, big, big herd of sheep. You know, maybe to graze around them, mm -hmm. around there, okay. So uh, when some shepherds saw Mahavir, Entering the forest, they shouted very loud, Oh, monk, 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 stay put for a minute. This is a very dangerous trail. There is a black serpent with uh, venomous gaze on this trail. His hissing and gaze burn plants and trees. Have you seen one like that? Hmm? Must be a very evil serpent, eh? Even flying birds and standing humans drop dead. Oh, if you see one like that, please run. Run fast. Use a golf car or something, maybe <laughs> faster than him, because snake can also be very fast. So please leave this trail and take a different route. The shepherds warn him not to go in there. But Mahavira heard this fear-filled call of the shepherds. And with a serene smile, he raised a hand as a gesture of assurance. I don't know how that assures you, but I can only do this, okay? <laughs> do this is politeness, yeah, to you. Do this is to share my whatever I have and whatever you can take, okay? There's two different gestures. I do both uh, to make sure that you know, to reassure you, whatever that you need to be reassured of. Now, he said, oh, he didn't say anything. He just used his hand to reassure them that it's going to be all right. And then he went with firm steps toward the snake hole, very near, okay. All around, human and animal skeletons could be seen. What kind of snake that eats humans also? Must be huge, huh? Big and nasty. And when you see one, please don't try to be compassionate or friendly or come and touch him and say, Oh, you good boy. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> or good girl, good snake, whatever, huh? <laughs> and if he bites you, please. Use your mobile phone. <laughs> Not to talk to him, call the doctor quick. You got that? <laughs> or run to your car, wherever, whatever possible, to get help. Because uh, poisonous snakes is not friendly. Even, uh, you don't know, even some snakes are not poisonous, yeah? But if your skin is punctured, then please take care, okay? It's very hard for your skin to recover from any injury, especially when uh, the skin are so young, like mine. <laughs> <laughs> so all people can see is just uh, animals and human skeletons, eh? and skulls also. There was not a single green leaf uh, as far as the eye can see. Whoa. What place is that, huh? Close to the snake hole was a dilapidated temple. Mahavira stood in the shade of this temple and started his standing meditation, you know. When he stood, that means he stand to meditate. Yeah. I don't advise you to do that. I'm worried that you make a hole on my floor, okay? <laughs> With your head. <laughs> I'm not worried about you. In case you want to do standing meditation, I advise you to wear this helmet that people use. Motorcycle, boom, 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 boom. Yeah? Okay. Uh, okay, I can fix the floor, but the head is difficult. <laughs> I have tried 30-some years to fix your head. I fell. 
<laughs> so <laughs> I don't think I can do that. <laughs> After it's even <laughs> clash with my floor. Huh? So please do take care of my floor and your <laughs> helmet. <laughs> if only I can fix humans' heads. I will feel like I accomplished something. Uh, never mind, you know. I'm old already. I don't think I can go and get a job anywhere. And when people are retired, they have a lot of time. So I just come read your bedtime story. Yeah, what else to do? Okay? Hoping that maybe a few words will stay in your head. <laughs> oh, he begin his standing meditation. Yeah? Even if you sit, I already feel <laughs> worry about you. Not to talk about standing and so tall as you are. You know, just, you know, small like me, maybe okay, don't have a lot to fall, you know? But so tall like you, or like a Westerner, for example, they're South African or, or Americans or uh, English, yeah? Uh, who are you? England? Canadian, Canadian even. Uh, they're very tall. If they fall, it's long, <laughs> long distance to my floor. So please just sit. <laughs> or lay down, okay? <laughs> on the shoulders of your neighbors. <laughs> or on the lap of your behind neighbor, okay? Safer that way, huh? Hmm. Oh, it's nice to lay on somebody's lap and just snore the time away, huh? Here nobody dares say anything to anybody. When master is not there, especially nobody is a boss. We all are boss. Just like I told one of my nearby people, I say all my dogs are alpha, because that's what they think. Normally in a group, there's only one alpha dog, but except good love, all other dogs, <laughs> six dogs, all alpha. <laughs> what mean alpha? Top dog, leader dog, yeah? But they all know, even though they don't respect each other's uh, position that much, because they all think they are alpha, because I spoil them so much. Each one of them think they are my favorite. <laughs> so they are alpha. Alpha is A. A means top. Hmm? Except for good love. And for me. Uh, everybody else not listen to anybody else. <laughs> because they are top dog. But they are very respectful to good love. They worship him. They lay on the floor, they kneel, and they turn around, they do their dancing, all kind of rituals just to greet him whenever they see him. And he, on the contrary, care nothing about all their <laughs> fuss, you know, just <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> These dogs, they are adopted by him, so that's the the, the, that's the worst he can do to them. <laughs> yeah. He's no ordinary dog. Huh? He really, really protects me. He doesn't like my cave. He told me the cave is dripping wet. <laughs> he told me, it's not a secure place for you, I mean, for me. I say, if I don't care, why you care? But he does care. Every time I bring him to my cave, I bring them to my cave. All the dogs are happy, happy, waking tail and stay. He, no, he always goes to the door, waiting to go out. He want to make sure I understood what his message was, you know, like, get out, don't stay here. But I see nothing wrong with the cave. Before, yes, the, the water run all over, you know. But now, because uh, they made the fake wood floor for me, so the water run under, so I don't see much of it. Yeah, I don't see much of the water, but he is still worried. I don't know why this guy is so very, very picky. Yeah, mm. it's not just this cave. Uh, before I didn't have any place yet. You know, I didn't know about the cave yet. I didn't see the cave, uh, and then so I stay in one of the small uh, areas. It's about uh, maybe two square meters, something like that. And uh, uh, all around, it's just glass. Remind me the story, okay? <laughs> you know my calendar. My calendar is, is a special, yeah. It doesn't have only 12 months. <laughs> Where was I then? Okay, I live in a small room, okay? And when my dogs come, uh, I also let them come in that room with me. 
Everybody okay except him. He don't like it. So I asked him, what's wrong? It's very clean and it have a roof and have some walls around it. And there are a lot of windows you can see. I like it. You know, you can see outside. He said, it's not safe. Yeah. Anybody can see you. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> Even protect my privacy. I say it's okay for now, actually. You know, when the heart is big, it doesn't matter how small the place is. I, I didn't mind. This guy, he always picky, you know. He didn't like me to stay in a small house, in a small room, a small cave, or uh, anything small, or anything that doesn't seem to have enough privacy, or easy to break in. You don't know him. Because of him, he helped me in England. So I became British also. It's not just now. He come and go, come and go all the time. He was a man, okay, in England. He helped me to arrange everything. And then he died young, so that he can reincarnate again quickly wherever I, I am in a form of easier to access, like animals, dogs, geese. And his last life was a lady, you know, the, the dog named Lady. The lady, a dog that always leaves her leg when she wants to, <laughs> to do her, her business. Yeah, he does the same now. <laughs> but he's a boy, so of course he does that. <laughs> but sometimes he, he, he sit down, you know, and I bend down to pee <laughs> like a lady too. So I don't know who are you, you're a lady or a boy or a girl, he, he don't care. He's very serious, you know, he never smiles. And when he smiles, it looks scary. <laughs> because his teeth are big, his mouth so wide, and teeth are gleaming, you know, because we brush teeth every day. All the dogs, you know? So he's gleaming, you know? And when he smiles, oh my God. <laughs> I say, it's better you don't. <laughs> he hardly smiles because he's, he's a, he don't stop a lot because he says he's a guard dog. Yeah, he has to be serious like that. I say, I have a little affection, man. It's just too much to look at your face every day and your body so stiff and always uh, on edge, you know? I'm tired. Do something, you know? Come and, <laughs> and lick my toe like other dog. Hmm, he don't do such thing. <laughs> he say, I don't do such thing. <laughs> oh, but my hand, no. <laughs> Cannot show too much affection, he said. He has to concentrate, yeah. Oh, he's a funny guy. Lucky I have all the six dogs to smile for me and lick my hand and stuff in my face. He's so serious, you know. Oh, he look like mm, something. Scary. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs>